Mary I and her unfortunate nickname. Mary I reigned for five years and had over 300 Protestant heretics burnt at the stake in what is known as the Marian Persecutions. This act earned Mary the nickname Bloody Mary. But is that fair? Her own father, Henry VIII, had 81 people executed for heresy and her half-sister, Elizabeth I, also had a multitude of individuals executed for their faith. So why does Mary get an unfortunate nickname linking her to religious persecutions but her father and sister do not? Why burnt at the stake? Well, it's important to know that the crimes of heresy were considered by all of early modern Europe to be an infection of the body politic that had to be erased so it did not poison the whole of society. The punishment for heresy was not only death but a total destruction of the heretic's body to prevent the use of their corpse for relics. Mary choosing to have the heretics burnt was standard practice for the time. Maybe Mary was given her name because she was too obvious. Religion could be disputed, but unlike Mary, Elizabeth I would convict those found to be practising Catholics by training as priests or sheltering them, were convicted as traitors and punished accordingly by being hung and quartered. The idea being that, as I've previously mentioned, is that individuals could dispute religious belief, but no one could ever agree that treason was acceptable. If we could hold one person to account for Mary's reputation, then it could be John Fox, the Protestant martyrologist. His best-selling works of the Acts and Monuments, or better known as Fox's Book of Martyrs, has a detailed account of each and every martyr who died for their faith under the Catholic Church. And this book was first published in 1563 and is known to have more than four editions. Although this book covers the early Christian martyrs, the medieval inquisition and the suppressed Lollard heresy, the persecutions under Mary I got, and still do to this day, receive the most attention. The first edition of the book includes 30 out of the 57 illustrations depicting the executions under Mary I's reign. Whether Fox's sources were accurate or not, his book certainly makes it hard not to feel emotion towards the Marian martyrs, especially the bishops Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley. Then brought they a faggot kindled with fire and laid the same down at Dr Ridley's feet, to whom M. Latimer spake in this manner. Be of good comfort, Master Ridley, and play the man. We shall this day light such a candle by God's grace in England, as I trust shall never be put out. As the fire took hold, Latimer was suffocated and died quickly, but poor Ridley was not so fortunate. The wood burned too furiously against his feet, and so he writhed in agony and repeatedly cried out, Lord, have mercy upon me, into medley this cry, let the fire come unto me, I cannot burn. This book, first published five years after Mary's death, became the basis of the folklore for the English Reformation. The accounts became abbreviated to only include the most sensational episodes of torture and death, with graphic accounts of pious Protestant martyrs submissively going to meet their maker at the hands of the tyrant queen, Bloody Mary. Thank you for watching. And to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History.